Hello, everybody. Good morning. It's Friday morning. Well, it is Friday morning, 9.30. Normally, I'm doing this around noon, but I'm heading out on a trip with my husband and um, my lovely brother-in-law and his wife. And so I wanted to get this done a little bit early so we could get ready to go. So thank you for joining me this morning. We're going to just wait a minute or two to see if anybody wants to log in before we get started. And I'm Dr. Heather from wellfitandfed.com and we do these broadcasts every Friday, uh, Lord willing, unless something comes up, of course. And uh, one of the nice things about Facebook broadcasting is that as you're watching, if you're enjoying something, hit the thumbs up, hit the hearts because that helps me know content that is exciting to you or that you'd like to hear more about. So please make sure as you're watching, hit those thumbs up and hearts in parts of the, of the talk that you are enjoying. That would be awesome. Uh, wellfitandfed.com is a fitness, nutrition, and wellness website that I created, and I would love you to be a part of it. We have a community there of people who are like-minded and who are just interested in getting healthier, and if you want to be a part of that community, just head on over to wellfitandfed.com and drop your email into the sign-up on the homepage. Simple as that, and you will occasionally get articles, recipes, workouts, and um, a personal community to work with because I send a lot of just private information to that group. So I hope you join us. Second thing I wanna talk about before we get into the content for today is I did a webinar last night and it was hilarious because it, um, <laughs> it was so many technical issues. By the time we actually got on the webinar, uh, I'd been working on tech issues for 45 minutes, and so I was a little frazzled. And then halfway through the webinar, um, there was a dog fight right outside my window. <laughs> so it was hysterical. But I wanted to share some of the content from last night because I think it's, it's powerful and in, uh, good information for us to have as we start to look at nutrition in our lives and we start to try to eat better. But I did... I was sharing something last night about my husband and I realized that on Facebook Live I've never shared anything about my husband with you. So my hubby is Brent and this is him. Isn't he cute? Look at him. So we are heading to Mexico tomorrow. I'm very excited about that. And uh, oh, one other thing, the Three Day Reset, which is a book that I published in July. Three Day Reset, yay! Remember, you can still get this on the website with the coupon code, which is three day. If you go on wellfitandfed.com to the store and you purchase the book and then type in the coupon code at checkout, three day, you'll get three bucks off the book. So. If you were thinking about buying it, that's a good way to do it. But what I was going to mention is that in January, we're doing a 4x4. Four four. And what that means is it's four weeks of resetting. So it's every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we do a three-day reset. And then the rest of the week, you are flexible with what you're doing. But we're going to do some online training, get a little deeper into some of the nutrition, and talk about movement, and all sorts of kind of just take that next layer down level of work with nutrition. And so I think it'll be really fun. So if you are interested in that at all, then just go to the contact page on wellfitandfed.com, and I'll put a link below, and you just put capitals reset in the comments section and that way I know to add you to the group so that when we do start disseminating sign up and other information about that that um, you're included. I would love for you to be a part of that. Okay we are talking about what I learned from a tiny sprite. I can't remember how many years ago it was but well I must have been in my early 20s. I'd never done yoga and I decided to take a yoga class. I really enjoyed it. It was taught by this teeny tiny elderly woman who I am not sure she was in full acquisition of all of her marbles, but she was lovely. And I learned many life lessons from her. And one I'm going to tell you about today happened after a particular class, right before the end of class, when we were getting ready to get into Shavasana, 
corpse pose, which is my favorite part of class, she said, no Shavasana, please sit up. And um, I wasn't super happy about that because I want my nap. I want my nap at the end of class. And so I got a little irritated and got up and sat up. And, and she said, I want you to hold your hands out like this. So we all did. And she said, as she walked around the room, she said, I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to keep your hands out. I'm going to drop something in your hands. And she did. She dropped something in everybody's hands. She said, I don't want you to open your eyes until I tell you to. I want you to bring this to your nose and smell it. Take a big inhale. So we did. And I smelled something. I wasn't quite sure what it was. And she said, I want you to take your index finger and I want you to touch it. And I want you to touch it until you really are positive you know what it is. And when you know what it is, I want you to put your hand up. And when everybody in the class has their hands up, we're going to open our eyes. So we waited. We waited and I felt it. And I, I think I figured out what it was, so I put my hand up. And she said, okay, open your eyes. And it was confirmed for all of us that it was indeed a ripe red raspberry. She said, I want you to look at this. I want you to really observe it. So I looked at it and I saw a raspberry. And then I looked a little closer and I saw the teeny tiny little bubbles all sewn together to make the raspberry. And the tiny hairs that came out of each of the little bubbles and the little cavern that held the berry to the bush. And it was so interesting, I kind of lost time for a minute while I was observing. She said, okay, now I want you to pop it in your mouth, but hold it there. So we did. She said, what do you taste? Well, first it tasted like raspberry, but then there was an earthiness to it, an acidity, a sweetness that I hadn't ever noticed before. And then we swallowed. And it was by far the best raspberry I'd ever had in my whole life. She taught me about conscious eating. And as someone who has struggled with overeating, binge eating in the past, that was a lesson I clearly had never been taught. And I've thought a lot about that lesson since. And it makes me think about when we sit down to a meal and we rush through the meal and we get back to whatever we're doing. That is if we even sit down for a meal. And I wanna talk a little bit about the five components of conscious eating. And the next meal you sit down to, I want you to go through this process, okay? So when you sit down, I want you to breathe. Breathing accomplishes a couple of things. One is it separates you from whatever that was going on in your life. It's giving you a moment of mindfulness, a break. It's also preparing your body to take in food. You need to oxygenate to digest properly. So a couple of breaths definitely sets the tone. The other thing breathing does is as you inhale the aromas of your food, Guess what happens? Digestion actually starts. Enzymes start to dump, anticipating the food. So it's actually preparing your body to digest and absorb your food better. So number one, we breathe. Number two is we observe. Take a look at our plate. What's on it? What are the colors? What are the textures? What are you looking forward to? Really observe what you're about to put in your body. That's turning into fuel for you. So take a good look at it. Next, we give gratitude. We give thanks. And I don't mean just to your God. I mean to the farmer who produced the food, to the person who drove it, to the grocer who chose to stock it, to the stalker who chose to put it on, the, on wherever you got it from to the cook that made it, even if that's you. Give thanks. 
be grateful for the fact that you have the opportunity and freedom to eat freely of pretty much whatever you like. So give thanks. Assess. Take a minute to look at your plate and think, well, how hungry am I? Am I going to eat this whole thing? Am I not going to eat this whole thing? If I'm not going to eat it, how much am I going to leave? Do I need to move that aside on my plate? I've even sat down and thought, oh, this is a lot of food. And I will go and grab a Tupperware and put half of it in there at the beginning of the meal. At a restaurant, that works amazing. If you're familiar with the meal that's coming, it's a restaurant you go to regularly, have them box half of it up in the kitchen. So really assess, how much, how much do I actually want to eat at this moment? The last one is desensitize. I'm going to tell a story to illustrate this. You go to the movie and you get the big popcorn. And as you're walking, and I've heard you say it, Oh, there's no way I'm going to eat all this. And at the end of the movie, you drop an empty popcorn bucket in the garbage. Now, if you took that bucket of popcorn and you came home and you sat down at your dining room table and you had no distractions, no one was home, there was just one light on, illuminating your beautiful bu bucket of popcorn, you had no music on, no iPad, no iPhone, no TV, no kids screaming, nothing else, nothing you were reading, nothing else going on. You were just going to focus on what you were going to eat. You would never eat that whole bucket. You'd get about a third of the way down and your body would tell you, I'm done, I'm full. So desensitize your area when you're eating. So. Get away from your workstation for lunch. Go sit somewhere where there's no other distractions. Don't check your phone. Don't look at your iPad. Don't read. Focus on the food that you're putting in your body that's going to digest and fuel you and give you energy and make your brain work properly. So from a little raspberry, we got five points of conscious eating. We have breathe, big breaths in, to start the meal. We have observe. What's on your plate? What are you most interested in? We give thanks. From the Lord who provided, or your God, to the farmer, the trucker, the grocer, the stalker, the cook. We assess. How hungry are you? Are you legitimately in need of all of this food that's in front of you? Or do you just want to eat a portion of it? And finally, desensitize. Get rid of the distractions that typically are going to result in you eating more food than your body needs. So that's it for today. That's all I've got. And thank you, Mary Beth, Eric, Linda. I love that you guys are here. I really appreciate it. And I don't have any specific questions there, but as questions come, I'll be happy to answer them um, below in the comments. Feel free to put your questions in the comments below and make sure to have a wonderful, beautiful weekend. And thank you for tuning in and watch for the announcement of what we're going to be talking about next time. Okay, loves.